Um, Betty is the chief executive of the Kenya Association of Manufacturers and a member of the high-level panel of eminent persons on the post-2015 development agenda. And you've got lots of good stories from Kenya, Betty, you can, you can tell us. So over to you now. Great. Thank you very much. I hope you can hear me. Yep. Yeah, thanks, Kellen and Alberto, for the presentation. Uh, that, that was also quite uh, enjoyable, and I've enjoyed reading the, the paper as well. I think I'd just like to confirm that the findings coming out of Kenya, the findings with regard to uh, the manufacturing sector and uh, the shift towards more energy efficiency and energy focused activities, is something that is uh, real. Our association is about uh, 53 years old now, representing the interests of industry, mostly lobbying and uh, representing that to government, but at the same time also focusing on improvement of service delivery for and production for our members. And for more than 15 years now, one of the greatest uh, concerns has been the cost, the cost of energy. Uh, cost and supply and uh, reliability, very many things that have to do with government, but at the same time also a significant amount that has the responsibility of business uh, itself. I think Alberto mentioned that Kenya has um, about, th not, not about 1,300 uh, megawatts of uh, power installed capacity, but demand is still higher. So there's always a lot of suppressed, uh, suppressed, uh, suppressed demand. But increasingly, even as we seek to expand, uh, one of the challenges is that the, the projects that come on stream quite quickly tend to be expensive thermal uh, projects, which of course increase the cost of power to the point where now it's at 18 cents uh, per, per, per unit. There is a plan by the power utility company to actually increase that to 28 cents in the short term, something of course that uh, business is protesting against. But we recognize that given our generation mix, it's very unlikely that we'll have cheap, I mean, very cheap power, the six cents, three cents, five cents that uh, you have in other, in other competing economies. So the only way in which industry in Kenya can compete and can at least make itself a little bit more competitive is to focus on uh, issues of energy efficiency. And uh, I've been quite excited to see the number of firms that have signed up to uh, energy efficiency program, more than 300 firms uh, so far, and who together from the measures that um, they have undertaken. I think I checked on that a little while, a little while ago, but uh, if, we, if we put together a lot of the emphasis, I mean, there's, there's possibilities of 30% uh, energy savings uh, among firms should they take those measures, and many are taking the measures uh, with the support of the Kenya government and support of other other partners and other, and other development partners as well. And, and, and that's something that I think we just want to confirm is, uh, is, 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 is an important thing that's happening and, uh, and has the support, has the support of industry. I also confirmed that the findings with regard to, 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 to agriculture and, uh, and, 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 and the, the need to shift the communication, especially when it came to the Kenya Flower Council and focus on now on our um, exports into Europe that was starting to attract a negative tag because of considered global global warming effect of you know, flying, flying, uh, fly, flying them in. But there has been a shift in communication that crops uh, plant, you know, grown under the sun actually are less energy intensive compared to those uh, grown in greenhouses in Europe. So I, th I think the, 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 the basic uh, hypothesis of the study that um, this uh, low carbon, uh, I mean, the, the, yeah, low, low carbon development uh, and, and production processes are leading companies to be to, to be a lot more competitive, and it has been beneficial for for many companies. I can stop there, or I can you know, sort of speak a little bit more if there's any specific um, message you'd like us to to put. Because we still, I mean, I still have kind of uh, some more issues and comments that I'd like to make, but I'd like to stop there and get the guidance from the chair. That's very good of you, Betty, because I'm sure there will be questions from the, from the floor, and it'd be nice to get uh, Fraser's comments in um, before we turn to our audience here, and indeed uh, our online audience, if it comes through. So thank you very much for that, Betty.